sometimes some of the time you might have a complex code where you have many functions nested uh, especially logical functions like to loop or if else conditions might be nested in that situation it becomes really difficult to debug the things when it is highly automated with the help of macros so let's take an example suppose you have a code something like this this is the simplest example where you can see that it is trying to find a frequency based on certain conditions so let's suppose if you run this code and it throws an error and you are not able to figure out where it's going wrong right so if you can get uh, information something like this where you could know that what part is getting to resolve to what values right that's gonna real that's gonna be really very helpful so that's what we're gonna learn today so till now we have understand mprint and with the help of m logic you can get the information which we just saw let's go ahead and try to understand how we can do that hello welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so the options to debug the sas macros under which we're gonna learn today m logic let's have a look at its definition its definition says this causes the macro processor to trace its execution and to write the trace information to the sas log as i just showed you that it was showing what parameter is passing what value let's have a look and try to understand what all are the information that m logic provides us so first it also says if m logic is in effect and the macro processor encounters a macro invocation the macro processor displays the message that identifies the column so this is what uh, uh, we're gonna see the here is what we're gonna see what all are the information which m logic provides when we use this as the macro option first information it will show you the beginning of the macro execution then it will show value of the macro parameters at invocation then it will show execution of each macro program statement then whether each if condition is true or false and then the ending of the macro execution all right so let's go ahead and try to understand this entire thing with the help of an example and try to understand each of these informations all right so let's go to the sas right in here let me just zoom a bit okay let's have a new session open because here i have already used m logic and as i taught you in the previous video that once you use any of these options in one session that will be in effect until the session is terminated right so that's how m logic was already in effect so this is why i closed the session and now i have new session opened with me and let's put the program over here all right let me just put this and let me just have this running now you see this information and you don't know even if you look at this log you would never understand why this information is printed how come this information got printed here you can see it's a frequency on cylinders all right but if you come to the code and if you see there are three frequencies which have been asked macro to print right but why that frequency was printed how come that frequency was printed based on cylinders what made it to print that frequency that information you can never get by looking at this macro here we have a small piece of program so this could be slightly simple for you to understand that but if you have a bigger program it becomes difficult this is where we can use the m logic let's try to use this m logic and try to understand why is that printed let's understand let's run this 
now again we have the same output and let's go to the log and try to understand why is that printed first as we just saw in the parameter sorry in the presentation it says first it shows you the information the beginning of the macro execution now you can see here it shows beginning of the macro execution then it says values of macro parameters at invocation so parameter type has value spots all right so here it says because the parameter value has type spots so if you see this macro has parameter type and here you are, you can see the parameter value it says the parameter type has value spots so uh, here it is telling you the information the value of parameter okay and then it says whether the if condition provided there was true or false the if the first if condition which was given over there which was given over here if type equals to sv suv so it turned false then second if condition let's go and see second if condition if type equals to sports that also turned to be okay so sports is turned to be true so that is why we it is showing this kind of frequency this frequency it is showing this frequency because here we have the condition if type equals to sports then show the frequency based on cylinders so this is why this information it is showing by by using m logic we were able to spot why we got that kind of information all right now let's just make a slight in correction in the code okay and let's try to run this and see what kind of error we gonna get now if you see here this information is printed why this information is printed certainly because our parameter is type so based on type only it would have been printed here it says the type parameter equals to suv is false type parameter equals to spot is also false because type has value supports s p o r t s s which does not match to either of these two that's why the third condition got executed third condition got executed and it got printed now let's just make this correct and try to run this this time we're going to get an error here it shows an error variable run not found so now you can never understand where the problem where this error occurred but by looking at this m logic information you can figure out the point where sports is true the point where it is where this condition is true at the same point this error is occurred right so let's go to that point and here you can see we just remove the semicolon that's why we got this error now you just run this again now you have this information and you can see the the log and you can see the information printed by m logic so this hope uh, you understand this this is how m logic helps you to debug the uh, macro ties code and uh, you know find a fix or for for that code quickly hope you understand this concept if you have any kind of doubt please do not forget to put your doubt in the comment section and we will definitely get back to you until then stay safe happy learning thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good